Hi, my name is Gaurav Gambhir. I'm a technical leader for Cisco ACI Solution Technology in CX. Today I'm going to do a quick demo of F-Triage 2 for ACI Multibar Fabric. Here is the topology with traffic flowing between two hosts. One an endpoint in pod 1 and another one is connected behind an L3 out in pod 2. F-Triage is an APIC CLI based Python tool developed to simplify fabric troubleshooting where the user defines parameters related to traffic flow like ingress interface, source IP address, and destination IP address. With the traffic flow information provided by the user, tool accesses the leaves at the spine to capture real-time data plane flow as it traces the path of the packet hop by hop in ACI fabric. Along with the ELAM, the tool also runs certain CLI commands to verify the object model to validate the control plane as well. Since F-Triage captures data traffic in real time, we need live traffic to flow continuously. For that, I have a ping running from a host behind L3 out in pod 2 towards an endpoint in pod 1. The issue I am seeing is intermittent ping loss right now. While my ping is running in the background, I am going to switch the screen to Apex CLI session to run F-Triage 2. The tool runs a lot of CLI commands in the backend to gather details to identify expected ingress leaf interface, VLAN and cap, etc. So it can trigger ELAN captures on the leaf and spine hop by hop. It prints a trace of important information as you can see in the screen. Along with the trace, the tool also dumps all the outputs in a log file, which can be very useful to understand all the logic and the verifications performed by the tool. This log file is saved in current user homes directory. The tool will continue to go hop by hop following the results from the previous capture to the next device in the fabric. To save time, I am going to fast forward the recording towards the end of the trace as it can take somewhere from 5 to 10 minutes to finish the trace. Interestingly, on Leaf 101, which is the last hop in the fabric, for this traffic flow, F-Triage threw a warning message that the endpoint in question is marked as row. What is a row endpoint and how to identify and fix that issue can be a topic for another day. But F-Triage was able to point me in the right direction and I was able to fix the intermittent ping issue once I fixed the underlying reason for why the endpoint was being detected as row. F-Triage also notified that there is a core file generated on the leaf, which is an indication of a problem unrelated to the one we are troubleshooting right now. If the packet is being dropped by one of the leaf or the spines in the fabric, trace will indicate that information as well. Here is an example. On pod 1 leaf, where the destination endpoint is connected, the packet has been dropped because of the reason security group deny, which is nothing but a missing contract to allow ICMP traffic between source and destination. This is a pretty simple issue to fix. Go to the contract between L3 out and the EPG and add the subject with the filter that allows ICMP traffic. In the second example, F triage is not clearly stating that the packet has been dropped. However, it does indicate that on pod 2 spine, the destination endpoint which is expected to be behind pod 1 is not present in Kube database. Now we know that in multipod fabric, each pod maintains separate Kube databases and via BGP eVPN synchronizes endpoint reachability information. Troubleshooting endpoint sync between pods is outside the scope of this video. For more examples and details on this tool, look for F-Triage videos on Cisco Video Platform or on our YouTube channel. And thank you for watching this.